Roland. This is Dan Driscoll teaching us how to use our brand new Code Zero from yeah. Doyle Sales. All right. All right. <laughs> Show us what we're doing, Dan. Okay. So ultimately, what I would do is, you know, the bag kind of slide. If you slide it forward, just kind of get it closer to the bow. I mean, this is just when you're setting it up, so you can kind of do this at the back. Make sure we're outside of, you know, that line. So just take the, um, everything goes outside the existing yeah. line. So we'll pull all the furling line out. We'll deal with that later. And so the only thing we got to do at the bottom is put this shackle to that little ring on that tang that we, um, that we saw earlier. Maybe you stand over there, you can kind of get a good view. Okay. And again, it goes, you know, outside of, of everything. Okay. So, so basically, we just take this, get some slack here. Actually, can I try doing it then? Sure. Let me try it. Let me try it. I go, so we're going to we're gonna set everything up on the starboard side. Okay. And then we'll go right to the You see that ring? That ring right here. So yeah, so the only the only thing you gotta be, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but the furling lines you gotta be pointing this way. So here, so this shackle is right there, right on there, right, right on there, right next to the anchor. Yep. It's going on the starboard side over here. Yep. And now, what we do next is we'll find the top of the sail. So this is, like the bottom's got the drum, this is the top part that swivels at the top. Kind of like the furler you got, but just, it's independent of a head stay. Okay. So your spinnaker shot, your spinnaker halyard. This thing again, we have the little, what is the red? That, okay, there? so this, if you have to get the swivel off, this pulls this pin, and it's a little tough. Right. But, because it really doesn't come off much. Okay. And that releases that. Again, just keep it on there. Really There's really no to reason that. to. Take but if you have to take it off, that's how you do it. And then that snaps it locks it. right back. Okay. So what we'll do next is we'll attach the halyard to the top. Okay. So your halyard, you got clipped down to your chain So first thing you do is just make sure you look up and it's not inside something or cross so you just want a straight shot right to the top so you see that yep, I can see it up looks pretty good to me yeah. all right so we we'll it all the way around yep so it's just outside of everything and you want it on the same side as kind of the side you're setting up on okay which i think you should maybe do on the starboard side every time okay. because that's the way the the furling lines are gonna run down this side too okay so, so always it, always keep it on the starboard yeah, everything uh, on the starboard side yeah I think that's a good, okay. good way to do it. And that how you just clips right onto there. Yep. And what we can do is we can pull it up a little bit and um, get so where get to where the clue is, and then we can run some sheets. Okay. Actually, why don't we run this? Okay. If you want to do one side, I'll do the other. Okay. Outside of everything. Yeah. Okay. 
Wait. Wait. <laughs> Let's not get a hand off the bow of the boat. Okay. Okay, so now okay. what happens is one of these lines is gonna have to go around the front and it's gonna be your line because we want everything set up on the starboard side. Okay. So, so the port side line. The port side line is gonna go all the way gonna, around the front. It's gonna keep going all the way around. Now. Yep. It's coming to and come right and then you come back to me. So now do I go around? Under, All right, just, over just, the anchor? Yep, yep. So over, so bring it over everything. Yep. Over everything, but outside. So All right. right in front of the, the roller throwing jib. Yep. And then, and then uh, pass to me. And then what we'll do is I'm just going to tie these together for now. But ultimately, you could leave these on the sail once they're on the sail. Okay. And then, but this is just kind of how it, it, it'll be okay. run. And you just used a regular old square knot. That's a square knot, yep. Just a regular old square knot okay. to tie those two lines together. And we're going to get back to that once we get to like the clue of the sail. So, okay. you know, just making sure it's that, that red line is inside of the sail. And, um, what, what, what do you mean inside? So of instead of, so when the sail goes up, the, the lines are going to be kind of on the inside. So if I put it on the outside, it would it, the, that other line would be on the outside of the sail, and that's not what we want. We want it on the inside. So both lines are on the inside. Yep, yep. Okay. So when we pull this up, you'll start to kind of visualize kind of what's going on, okay. um, and that's what we're, we can do next. So basically, what a, you know, we can. It's fairly light where we can Excuse pull me? it up, um, or someone can pull it up at the mast, and okay. then someone can kind of tail it in the top. So this is it's that right. Yeah. Yeah, and just kind of watch it as it goes up. It's not hanging up on anything. And it might look kinked up, but it'll it'll eventually. Uh, you can just pull it by hand. Oh, he's cheating. He's using the yeah, electric one. It's okay. So just kind of feed it to them. Ready? Yeah, we're good. Is there any reason not to use the electric winch to pull it up? I see the, the only reason why I would it is it's it's pretty easy to pull up. Right. It's not you're not gonna kill okay, yourself. Okay, stop with the electric line. No, 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 no. no but I'm just saying, if the okay. problem is if something does hang up, right? Some, if you're just holding a button down, you really can't feel that tension, right. and then you can like all of a sudden something might rip or break. But if you're pulling it up by hand, you, you go, oh, okay, oh, something's kind of caught, catching. and then. Uh, but once we tension it off and everything, okay. yeah, we can use it. Okay. But just keep going. We're good. Right, We're doing keep good. Going. All right. Stop, stop. right there. All right, so, all right, let go. All right, everybody chill out for a minute. So we're at the point where we're at the um, the clue of the sail. This is where the sheet goes. Okay. So this is just, normally the, the sheets would probably be tied onto it already. Um, so I'm just gonna untie it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie the, the sheets on to the, to the sail. So you, if you want, pass me that knot. Inside, inside. Yep, yep. All right, you got it. And um, we'll just we're gonna tie two bowlines on here. How's your bowling tying? We'll find out. Probably not. Yeah, you do one. Video is probably okay, not well, gonna go well. It's all right. Not so much slack, but here I'll right. like maybe like that much. Like that? Okay. How's that look? That's cool. Right. You want you know just it's not gonna really matter. So just Around. up, okay. up there, and there. Did I get it? Ah, yeah, close. No, I got a slip knot. That's <laughs> alright. I do mine a little differently. How do you do yours? I do. I make a loop like that. Right, like that. Make a loop with your left hand on here. Okay, let's see. So what I do? Make a loop. So this line is running down in front. Right. And then I go down to the hole, around the front. And then back up the hole. Oh, that's a nice ball. That's there you go. So here, I'll show you one more time. 
Make a loop so that, that the long part is, is coming down the front. Right. You got your rabbit, goes down the hole, around the front of the tree, and then back up the hole. Just like that. Just like that. So you just want two bowlins on the corner, and that way that, you know, it's just, and we, you know, we, I mean, eventually if we want to do shackles, you can do shackles, but for today, we're just, we'll just do two bowlins. Long one down, down the hole, around the front, back up the hole. Voila. Good. Okay, so we got our sheets. Everything looks kind of cool. Good to go. All right, we can go back up with it. We'll go up all the way now. So just keep going. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. We, we got we got tension it off. A little more? Yep. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, stop. How do you know when it's all the way up? Well, what we're going to do, I'm going to get back there and I'm going to tension it off and then maybe we'll mark it with the, uh, the halyard. But if, the, if you know, with, when it's rolling, the, that luff has to be really tight. It really does. So what we'll do is I'll um, we'll look at it back here. You got a handle? How do you tell whether it's tight, it's the proper tension on it? I mean, basically you want it, um, you know, on just manually on the winch. So it's, it's really hard. Tight. So yeah. it's hard manually. Yeah. Okay. It's still probably a little loose. So I'll, um, I'll go back and look at it. And let me look at, get off the boat and look at it on the top. Make sure we're not too far up there. Okay, we will continue this in part two.